My goal for this channel shouldn't... Jesus Christ. Huh. All right, so hi friends, it's Harrison here. And I wanna change. I want to change this channel. I have made 30 or 40 videos and I feel that my message has kind of gotten away from what I want it to. And the direction is not heading where I want it to. My goal for this channel should not be quantity. It should be quality. So I'm gonna take a step back and really hold myself accountable to the content that I'm doing, not holding myself accountable to the date that I'm gonna put it out. So this is the first video of my new and improved channel. What I wanted to talk about was putting my life on hold and as a pre-transition trans man, what that really means. I was talking to one of my friends about this. We were talking on the phone and I was saying, I feel like I haven't met me yet. You haven't met me yet. This person right here is not me. That is such a strange feeling. As a pre-transition trans man, I always try to say you are valid. You are who you are and you have a place in this world, but sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to feel like that. And it's easier to say that because I love myself. I've had so much self-love in the past year. I've come out publicly as transgender and I've really felt this comfort in my own skin and I've really grown to love who I am on the inside. Who I am on the outside is not exactly who I wanna be. And that's sad. It's sad, it's sad that who I feel on the inside and who I'm sharing myself with all these people, including myself, what they're seeing is not who it is. So after having that conversation with my friend, I was thinking that it's easy for me to just press autopilot and wait for the person to show up that everybody is waiting to meet. And the person is me. But there, that's no way to live a life. I've been living life from 24 years old. I've had 24 years of not always pressing autopilot, but at times pressing autopilot. And that's not fair. That's not fair to the person that I have inside, the person that needs to grow. The person that's already inside of me deserves to live a life fully. And the thing that pushed me to look in the mirror and realize that I have this tendency to do that was my earring and my hair, which is so weird that something so superficial has caused me to really look inside and break down what really is going on. My earring is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. And I always didn't do it because I was thinking, oh, okay, well, it would look better if I had a beard. It would look better if my jaw was more pronounced. And I didn't do it because I was like, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna look exactly the way that I want it to look because of the person that I am on the outside isn't who I am on the inside. And it's such a stupid little thing, but it's kind of like a metaphor now. It's kind of like, oh my gosh. I was thinking to myself, no, I'm not gonna wait until I have a beard. I'm not gonna wait until these things happen because I wanna do this and I wanna do this now. And the thing for my hair. So I've been growing out my hair. I haven't, I haven't done it, so it's a little crazy. I've wanted to grow out my hair for a while and I wanna have flow. I wanna like brush it back. I want it to just like, whew. I want that look. I want that Bradley Cooper kind of thing. And I was thinking to myself, no, I gotta keep it really short. I gotta keep it really trim because I just don't wanna be misgendered because I get misgendered more when my hair is longer. But I wanna do this. This is something that I wanna do. I shouldn't worry about what other people are going to think of me and how other people are gonna view me because it's what I wanna do. Something as small as an earring and growing out my hair. I started to think more, what else have I not done when I wanna do it because I felt that I needed something else to happen to validate it. So I took time, I sat down and I just thought about all the things in my past and I wanted to share these thoughts with you because these thoughts have happened since I was a kid to now. Some of them I've overcome, but others I haven't. So I wanna talk about them. I wanna face my fears. I want to do everything that I wanna do when I wanna do it and not wait for something else to happen and not wait for my exterior to match my interior because I am a person and I deserve to live and I deserve to live my life the way that I want to, to the fullest, do all the activities that I want to do that people just take for granted. So I, I took a step back and I thought about all of the things 
that I thought that I couldn't do unless I was physically transitioned. Some of these things I've overcome and some of these things I still struggle with. So I'm gonna share those thoughts with you and I hope that I can help out in my own little way if you're going through something similar. So at the time when I was younger, I read something when I was figuring out the steps and physically transitioning, I'd read something that said that I have to be asserting myself as male for an entire year before I can start hormones because that's what the therapist or doctors or somebody needed to make sure that I knew exactly what I was doing and exactly what I wanted before I started these irreversible changes in my body. And I, I don't know if this is the case anymore, so don't quote me on that if you're like, oh, okay, well, I guess I have to do that if I have to start hormones or something. I don't, I don't know. I, I remember reading that and that was one of my fears when I was younger was I don't think I can assert myself as a man when I don't look like one. I, I just don't think people will take me seriously and I'm scared. I don't want people to judge me. I don't want people to laugh at me. I don't want people to be like, oh, how is that girl asking to be referred to with male pronouns? And I remember thinking that and it was something that really troubled me for a long time. And obviously, spoiler alert, I have come out pre-transitioned and I'm doing great. But at the time, I didn't think I could do it. And once I let those fears melt away of what complete strangers would think of me or family members or even friends would think of me, as soon as I said, hey, I wanna be referred to with male pronouns. And the second I shifted my, my mindset from, will this person view me differently if I change my pronouns? To, I need to be referred to with male pronouns to feel comfortable with myself. The second I put myself before other people, it, everything became so much easier. And I know that it's, that it's easier said than done, I know that. But it is so true. I wasted so much time thinking about what complete strangers would think of me. I wasted so much precious time where I could have been Harrison. That one was the biggest one, asserting myself as a man before I transition. That was my biggest hurdle that I had to overcome. So another thing that I thought of that I didn't want to do unless I was physically transitioned was go through a job search and go to interviews looking the way that I do. I thought that I need to be physically transitioned to be taken seriously in my workforce and not have co-workers see me as the person that's just physically transitioning. I didn't want that to be something that people just saw me as. And that was something that I was very, very scared of even last year. I made a video on it, I talked about it, and I just like look back at that video and I wish that I could take it down, but I think it's important. I think it's important to show the growth because I rewatched it recently and I was like listening to myself saying all these things that it's like, you can't do these things unless your body aligns with who you are inside, you just can't. I just wanna smack me and like grab me and shake me and say, you are who you are. Who you are on the inside is the only thing that matters. It doesn't matter what complete strangers will think of you and the shell that you're in. It's just a shell and you will change. You will change into somebody that you need, but you don't have to change for other people to view you how you wanna be viewed. So now, I am looking for jobs too. Uh, I need to start working and I don't care. I don't care that I'm not physically transitioned. I will go to any interview that I wanna go to and rock it because I'm who I am. I deserve to have a job. I deserve to progress my career and I don't have to wait to physically transition to do that. You don't have to wait. So message to my old self, you don't have to wait. Just do whatever you need to do. It doesn't matter. But yeah, so there are definitely more scenarios that I've had in all these situations i was worried about what other people would view me as that's not a way to live but it doesn't it doesn't matter what other people view of you and i think it's something that you deal with when you get older because when you're younger you have this spotlight syndrome where you feel like everybody's eyes are on you everyone's judging your every move but as you get older things get put into perspective. You put yourself before what you think other people will think of you. And that's something that's happened to me as I've matured, as I've grown. So if you're watching this and you're younger and you're thinking, oh, I'll never get comfortable like that. I'll never feel like that. That'll never happen for me. Like asserting myself as a man, having people use a different name and different pronouns. I never thought I'd be able to do that. But now it's so comfortable for me. It just takes practice. Your priorities shift your mindset changes and things that seemed 
so troubling. You look back and you think, oh, why, why was I nervous about that? It's not even a big deal. There are still some things that I'm extremely terrified about. Like my sister, she's getting married in May and I'm scared about the wedding. So I'm an important part of this wedding and I'm gonna be in a lot of pictures and these pictures will last forever. These will be pictures that are up in people's houses and these will be pictures that will always be looked back on because a wedding is a very important day. And I feel sad, I'm excited for her, I'm so happy for her, but I'm sad that these, this memory that will be pictured I won't be pictured as myself. And that's something that I'm scared of. And that's something that I don't want, but it's a reality. Am I going to not be in any pictures? And I'm not, am I not gonna go to my sister's wedding because I don't feel comfortable? Of course not. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna live and I'm gonna have a good time and I'm gonna be so happy. And so what if a few pictures are taken and I look back and I'm not exactly the way that I look, that I look in the future? So what? And I'm saying this right now, and I'm saying this like to you guys, but I'm also saying it to me because I still need that confidence. I still need somebody to tell me to be like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You have a great event coming up and it's something that you should be excited about. There's nothing that should be in the back of your mind that you're nervous about, but there'll always be those situations. It doesn't matter if you're 13, 24, 50, there'll always be something. And you need to find a way to get through it. This is just my video that I want to tell you to not pause your life for anything. Each day that you live is an important day to accomplish something. You don't need to waste years of your life waiting for something to happen to validate you. This is my pack to never pause my life and to live each moment even if it's scary. And I hope that you can join this pack with me too. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I hope to make some great content, to put more thought into it and to not just put out videos to put out videos. So. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for following me. And if you want to follow any of my social medias, they're down below. And I will see you next time. All right, take care.